everybody, Bobby Tarango with Chicago Tata out here. I'm here with Orlando Acevedo with uh, the town of Apple Valley. We're out here at the Big Lots uh, job site right now. And, and uh, talk to us about this thing. That's an amazing amount of uh, cement. Yeah. Bobby, that's 1.3 million square foot uh, facility there that uh, is under construction. Big Lots is obviously coming to town. We're really excited about that. Uh, we expect them to be operational mid-2019. And uh, they'll employ four to five hundred uh, full-time full-time jobs there. So, uh, Bobby, you probably know this. There's eighty thousand people commuting out of the high desert every single day. Yeah. And uh, for those four to five hundred people, it'll be a life changer. Uh, won't have to commute out of area any longer. It's a drop in the bucket. We still have a long way to go in terms of bringing all those jobs back to the high desert or up to the high desert. Uh, but this is one big project that we're excited about. Uh, not only for those folks, but uh, we believe that it'll help us uh, tell the story that. The high desert, Apple Valley are ripe for industrial development. Oh, cool. What else has been happening? Um, last year, we uh, issued um, 282 single family residential permits. That was the most we've uh, issued just over the last uh, couple of years. So, uh, as you know, the markets continue to climb slowly but steadily in the high desert. Um, on the commercial side, St. Mary's Medical opened up an uh, urgent care facility over there at Highway 2, just, uh, just east of the main campus. Uh, we've had some 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 new store openings like Yogurtland and uh, Rebel Oil, um, a couple of other new tenants that are in the pipeline. Uh, can't announce them yet, but um, there's a lot of uh, commercial activity as well. So what's what's in the pipeline? Give us some dirt. <laughs> well, talking about dirt moving. Let's talk right? about yeah. some dirt. <laughs> yeah. So um, you may have heard that uh, Apple Valley successfully attracted a, a hotel. So the Jess Ranch uh, Marketplace area, just south of uh, like the Cinemark Theater. Okay. Uh, in fact, I'm, I'm pleased to report. I, I don't know if we've shared this yet, but they've actually submitted um, uh, a development. Uh, permit, I'm sorry, a de development application. Oh, excellent. And so uh, we're looking at approximately 100 beds or 100 keys, as they say in the hotel industry, and uh, that should be going to planning commission in the next few months. So we're excited about that. That's, that's, the, first, that's the first announcement. Yeah, right the first time. Yeah, we heard it right here. <laughs> um, and uh, and the Planning Commission has recently approved a couple of projects as well. Tractor Supply, 18,000 square feet uh, facilities for this 18,000 square foot store okay. on Bear Valley in Braeburn, just east of Deep Creek. It'll be the High Desert's third tractor supply. And I uh, just uh, talked to the developer earlier this week and they're looking to, uh, to be operational uh, in the first quarter of uh, 2019. So uh, they're, they're moving. Um, what else do we have going on? We also have uh, a project on day 11 to the 15 freeway. That's the uh, Apple Valley Gateway project. Uh, about an 80,000 square foot um, commercial center. Okay. There, it'll be Apple Valley's first freeway frontage commercial center. We're excited about that project. It'll help us um, have a freeway presence and, and certainly draw uh, uh, you know, commuter support and, and, and uh, what kind of, what kind of commercial center? What's going to be in there? Yeah. So, so right now the, we're working with the developer to attract okay. tenants there, but they're obviously looking for a fuel station. there, some fast food eateries, some fast cash, and they actually have a site for a hotel there oh, as well. Excellent. So that's what I was looking for. The yeah, hotel. Yeah. So, you know, that's, that's probably sort of the second or third phase. That's what everybody's looking for when they have these soccer tournaments up here, man, where <laughs> are we going to stay? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and we're actually not too far from Brewster park. So yeah. uh, right up Dale Evans parkway would be, potentially be a new oh, uh, perfect. Uh, hotel. So uh, uh, what about uh, any, any new tracks going in? Yeah, so the Planning Commission also approved uh, two um, tracks recently. The first was a, a um, 17 um, single family residential um, property there. At, it's called the Ravenswood. It's okay. sort of a resurrection of a previous property. That's that a subdivision. That's at um, Sitting Bull and Apple Valley Road. Okay. And uh, just a few weeks ago, the Planning Commission also approved um, Frontier Homes a track map and that's 137 single family homes at uh, Deep Creek and Bear Valley Road. Any, any word on when they plan on breaking ground on, on that project? Um, I, you know, I've heard some, some dates. I know they're still working through the development permit process. Okay. They're working with our planning team to, you know, to, to bring those project, those, those um, um, homes into, you know, obviously conformance with the sure. development code. Sure. Uh, it was just recently approved at the, at the planning commission level. So they're working through the entitlement process on the development permit, but uh, excited about that project. Uh, wow. I, I think it's a, you know, 2019 Okay. Timeline. Okay. Okay. Well, shoot, man, that's, all, that's a, quite a bit of information. Thanks, Orlando, for coming out and 
giving us a tour of the area here, but uh, yeah. we're gonna go get on our skateboards and go skate the cement. So. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you.